Hi, this is Blake with Paris Heating and Cooling. Today I would like to show you a video of the AeroSeal duct system. It's a revolutionary new way to seal your ducts from the inside. I hope you enjoy the video. Thank you. In every opening of the house, we need to install these foam blocks and tape over top. So this way, any of the aerosol does not leak out and only finds the holes that are in the ductwork. All we do is we just remove the register and we insert the foam block like this. A lot of people have trouble heating and cooling different parts of their house. So main reason for that has been found that duct leakage inside the walls at a joint we can't get at without major construction of ripping down the drywall. The aerial seal process makes it much simpler to seal the ducts from the inside. In doing so, it'll make it so that the proper airflow is getting to every register and not just certain ones. The duct sealing itself will remove any, a lot of dust and allergens from your duct system. Uh, little holes in your duct running through the space, anywhere there's a little gap and any kind of dust in, on top of the duct or inside the joist bay will, can seep into the ductwork and blow out your registers. So when it's all sealed, you get the improved airflow and you also get, on top of that, uh, less dust and allergens blowing through your duct system. Also, it's a big energy savings, but the main thing is, for a lot of people, dust and allergens and comfort. Comfort's a major thing. Can you add this ceiling to existing homes or is it Oh yes, house? yeah, this, it's a same process we do. We take your registers out, we put the foam blocks in, we cover them up, and we end up pre-testing the system. When we pre-test the system, we check to see what the leakage rate is of the system. If the leakage rate is abnormally high, that tells us that even though we seal every register, there's a larger leakage somewhere. So we'd have to try and investigate where it is. If the leakage rate is relatively normal, what we relatively see on a normal house, uh, we can then go ahead and start putting the sealant into the system. It's very beneficial to many things. Andy, the owner of Paris Heating and Cooling, did his personal house. And in doing so, he's had unbelievable delivery to registers that never had any delivery. This is the home seal machine from AeroSeal that we have. And what this is going to do is going to allow this, the AeroSeal sealant, to flow through the system and go all the way into the duct system. This tube will inflate along with the other two tubes. And wherever there is a hole in the duct system is where this glue will fill. It will not coat the ductwork as a lining. It will only fill where there are holes. We have pressure tube here that monitors how the pressurization of the system is working. This box opens up and this is where we install the sealant in and it's just a big fan. The sealant goes in there and inside there's a wand that superheats the glue, creates it into an aerosol and lets it blow through the duct system. So in a few minutes we're going to set this thing up and get testing on the unit itself. This is the computer that is going to control the home seal machine. I'm currently setting up the program and creating a new customer for the house we're about to do. These two things are going to change. You're going to see the wand go green. The heaters one and two go green. It's warming up. Should, the wand should turn on in a minute. We started there. Now we want to see that go down. If that stays level, that means there's something that it's not sealing properly. But it's, we give it a little time to see how well it goes. It's a flat line actually. That email tells you that it can't seal anymore. And what you have to do is, there's a gate setting on the back. Sometimes you got to restrict the area. This is a touch ring that we're But you restrict the flow more. So it'll go from two and put it to three. It'll make it push a little harder. And then when you're at three, you pause and go to four. That'll make it push even harder. We're going to have steadily going down. Yeah, yeah. And I was telling you, eventually this is going to tell me to change gate valve which is on the fan box downstairs. We let it cool down and then reset it. Let the fan just blow cool it down or it reset it. If you check out our website you will see many benefits to doing this for your home. If you have any questions you can give us a call 227-4512 or you can email us. Hi I'm Andy Paris. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was informative. 